My name's William Lemon. You see me? Vivica, Vivica, darling. When your mother is talking, you listen. Get out of here! You make me sick. Take off your pants. It is a very strong smell. Alright, hit the music. Hit it. Alright. Take off your pants. Yeah. Alright, I want you to get crazy now. You're doing this for the club, remember? This is a promo video. I don't want you to go fucking it up with no, uh, unfreaky shit. You know what I'm talking about? Do it. Come on, feel the music and work that fucking pull. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Play with that snake. Get the snake off your neck and then put it. Be yeah. Mmm. They're gonna love this, man. Ooh. Cindy? Cindy, get up there with it. Get up there with it. All right. Okay, now you two go to work. Go to fucking work. There you go. Hey, check this out. Right? Right? We're making millions, girls. Do it. Oh, yeah. Now I can smell the money now. Oh. Coordinates. 542. Coming in at, at 316 Alfa Romeo. You got that, Captain? Okay. You know what? This is the closest that I've ever been to combat. What about you, Corporal? Oh, really? That's amazing, sir. That's very, very, very commendable. I, I have, uh, I have uh, looked upon you as a uh, mentor for many years. I'd like to let you know, and I know that even though we are in this situation, that you are comfortable with uh, me telling you that right now. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, yes, I know. I know you have to do things, sir. I know you're very good at your job. Very good at your job. Let me just tell you that right now. You're very good. I like the way when you shoot off the torpedoes, you look very, very fantastic, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, yes, sir. Yes, I will shut up right now. I'll shut up right now. I will stop talking about your buttocks. <laughs> yeah, I said it, sir. <laughs> stop, sir. Hey, come on now. I'm just joking. I apologize. No, keep on shooting off. <laughs> Your torpedoes. <laughs> I know. Oh. Sir, I'm taking down the coordinates, okay? I got it all. Okay, the next one. Alpha Romeo 516. <laughs> I'm just joking. Calm down. Lord. <sighs> For Pete's sake. All right, next one. Romeo Romeo. Alpha. 14. Thank you. Sweetheart. <laughs> you look so cute. Man, this is some of the best cake that I've ever had. Well, I guess, man, fucking anything tastes good after you've been out in the trees for as long as I have, man. Mm. Man. A lot of people back in Santa Cruz were talking about how righteous the tribal society system is, man, but fuck, man, they don't tell you you don't get to fucking eat any cooked foods, man. Whoa, I was like tripping the first couple of weeks, man, just fucking eating roots right out of the ground. Well, uh, my, main, my main man, uh, Steve, behind the camera says it's time to talk, so I guess I better start talking. My name's, um, my name's John, and um, 
I'd really like to meet you, whoever you are. Um, Steve, get it, get in more close up. I wanna, I wanna get a, a good shot of my face here, you know, because I hear that, that that's what uh, girls are into now. But I'm not into a superficial girl. I'm not into them. I don't like it. Um, I would say that not that I don't like girls, you know, because I like them a lot. I love them. I'm very much heterosexual, very much so. And um, the girl that I would like to meet um, probably would be in the area of uh, 6 to 180 pounds. Uh, somebody that likes to ride horses, somebody that can keep up. I myself, I'm, Annie, I'm, I'm about, I'm Annie and up to about 4 or 5. I'm a short man, but um, that don't keep me down. I think that it builds my, uh, my stamina in some areas. You know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying nothing about that. Okay, okay. Uh, my man Steve's telling me that I better go into uh, uh, traits in my personality. Um, first thing I love... I love um, girls that are oh just okay just about me um, okay I like to uh, fish sometimes I'm actually a very relaxed person so I like to relax sometimes mostly sometimes all the time pro probably pretty much all the time I'm relaxing you know <laughs> um, I'm a very relaxed person uh, I like to drink a lot of beer uh, preferably liquor Okay, malt liquor or liquor of any kind. If it says liquor on it, I'll drink it. <laughs> you know, um, I haven't had a drink today, all day today. It's about 10, so a couple hours I'll head on down to the bar. I like a girl that can hold her liquor. <laughs> you know, I mean, and um, that's, uh, you know, I like to take showers often. Um, I like taking showers and taking baths. I like baths and bath salts and bath balls and all those things that make you smell good. Um, I like all those things. Um, I very much would like to uh, meet somebody who would be into the opposite sex. Please, no lesbians. Not that that probably isn't already specified when you're watching the video. Okay, this is Steve. Can you... D okay, you only got one take on this? Okay. Well, I hope I didn't ruin it right there. I might have. I might have done it right there, um, but I'm, I'm really uh, proactive, uh, you know, and I like doing stuff, so uh, if you like me, give me a call. Okay. All right. Um, fun loving. I like people. Okay, so please, um, uh, just, please, just, um, respond in any way just maybe even a phone call with a critique or something because um because i'm needing it right now um okay well thank you and goodbye life is a beautiful thing i just want to tell everybody that as long as you take it in stride, as I have throughout my life, that you too will be okay. It just, uh, you have to mellow out, you know? Maybe I have a sandwich. It's okay. Water, I want a glass of milk, actually. You know, I'm dying for some moo juice, you know? <laughs> this is what we call it at the deli. It's very funny. I tell my whole family, I say, moo juice, please, on ice. I take it on the rocks. I like it too much. If I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be totally gone. By the time you get this, mom, I'm gonna be out of here. I can't deal with this anymore. Okay. I mean, I know what's going on. I found out. You don't have to hide anything anymore. Cause I know what's going on now. Okay. And you know what? You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm gone. Cause I can't live with somebody like you, mom. Not someone like you. Not somebody that would date somebody like this. Huh? Does that picture mean anything to you, Mom? I know where that seamless background is. I know exactly where that is. It's in the foyer, Mom. I know what you've been doing. You've been photographing nude men in our house. And never once did you ask me? <laughs> Ha <laughs>
I have the biggest. She never even asked. Kids in school told me it was, you know, above average. Oh, I don't know. I just thought those guys in the pornos were a little small. I, I didn't get it from Dad. I know about Grandpa. I saw his photo, too. Nice touch with the flower. Well, I guess this shows that you don't really care about me, so I'm leaving. Because I don't care about you. Let me out. I didn't do it, I swear, man. I don't know what your country's policy is on this shit, man, but I didn't do it, man. I was just there, man. What you talking? I don't know what you're saying. I speak your goddamn language, you bastard. You know what? You know what? Fine. I don't care. You guys can do what you want. I didn't do anything wrong. I did not do anything wrong. That stuff's legal in the States, okay? You feel me? I don't know, we were just out one day. It was... It was one of those crazy hot days, you know, where you just want to get wet. So we... We took this... This... Surgical tube and tied it on one end, filled it with water, and we chased each other around, spraying each other. You know what I mean? If that's so wrong, then I'm guilty. Do ones like this. You can do ones like this, okay? Look at me, okay? You see me? You see me? You hear me? You hear me? Okay. All right. Okay. So imagine me, okay? At the front door. I'm at the front door. Hey, what's up? I was just taking care of the gardening out in front. I was wondering if I could get a glass of water. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? No. Okay. You know, I got a ton of these, but um, they all basically run in that same that same vein. What are you looking for? I mean, I can I came. What about this one? Remember back? We'll rehash that one back in '89. Back in '89. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, I'm having a problem with my cocking gun. I was wondering if you could help me out. Right? Remember that? You remember that? That was a beauty. That was a beauty with the Asian girl. Remember that Asian girl? She had that big belt. The big one. The red patent leather. You remember her? She was amazing. Amazing. What about this one? Door to door salesman. Door to door salesman. And this was the 70s. 70s. Making a comeback. Making a comeback. A lot of porn is just novelty porn. A lot of people just watch it just to, you know, see something freaky. So remember this one? Door to door salesman. Door to door salesman. Okay? Knock, knock, knock. Hey, what's up? I'm selling hair curlers. Whoa. That's a big bush you got. I bet you could use some of these on that thing. Probably tame that big... You know, I mean, you get the point, right? You get the point. That's what you gotta do. Why do I have to do this interview nude? No. 
What you got here? You got some real nice flavor. But um, I think you're hurting it a little bit on salt. And this salt. And uh, I think some cumin will definitely work with the vinegar a lot better than this here uh, celery seed because it just didn't work. I mean, my palate is definitely uh, titillated. But um, uh, you got to keep my interest, you know? I mean, it's not like I'm eating a salad for my health. You know? you know what I'm saying? So maybe if you guys worked on that, develop the flavors, the spices. Uh, I'd like to see a lot more red fruits, maybe some uh, some uh, tomatoes, some, uh, you know what they got in France right now? That's a real hit, real hit. Elderberries. Had those roasted. Roasted. Elderberries, you dry them, give them a little piquant flavor. You throw that in there, and you got yourself a winner, okay? Now, I've been judging these kind of contests for a while. And I see you young kids coming in here thinking that you can use, you know, some kind of an emulsified vinaigrette on grains this light. And it's not going to happen. Especially, especially when you got that celery seed in there. Throwing off my palate. It's not going to, it's not going to make your way into my heart. Okay?